Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back. I'm still brewing, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, wine turning into vinegar. Why does it do it? Does it always do it? Is it going to happen to mine? What can I do if it happens? So this is uh, a sugar wash that's finished in the fast ferment. It's now just filtering down into this barrel. I've, I want to crack on with a beer, so I'm going to have to just pop this to one side for a bit. So I'm not going to be using it for a while. Is it going to turn into vinegar? Chances are no. So I'm running it through the Vinbrite filter, uh, which I spoke about before. Um, and I'll just give you a, a show of what a difference it makes. So that's been run through the filter and it is literally like water. So I know that that's really clean uh, going into whatever I may be using it for next. So I've got 24 litres of that to play with at some point. Now, vinegar is created when there's an acetic acid bacteria. Uh, and unfortunately, that is just found in oxygen. It's found in the air. Uh, so yes, it is present. And yes, you could get it in your, your wine. Um, but follow the simple steps that we go on about. Sanitise everything in the process to begin with. That's going to stop any bacteria starting in your, in your wine. Keep it airtight throughout the process uh, and have as little contact with the oxygen as possible. Once it's in here, I'm then going to be sealing up that lid and it will stay closed and there's going to be a very little headspace in the top. So again, that contact with the oxygen is minimal. So there is a very, very slight chance and it would be very unlucky if I was to get enough acetic acid bacteria in that wine to start turning it bad. Now, you can get what's called a, a mother, and that is basically a culture of the acetic acid bacteria. Now, if you have one of those, and you can keep those living, you can use it every time. So you can pop it in some wine, leave it for a few months, uh, and that will start turning that into vinegar. And then you can take it off. It's like a gelatin blob that uh, lives on the top of the wine. And you can take that off, and you can reuse it again and again and again. So will your wine turn into vinegar? not if you follow the basic steps and reduce that contact with the oxygen. Keep it sealed, keep it airtight. I've known people use these a year on and it's still absolutely fine. Okay, so don't be worried, follow the steps and keep on brewing. Cheers guys.